赤コーナー1 7 4ンチ7 0キロ k 1ワールドマックス2 0 0 3 2 0 0 8世界王者マースタートマスターとバイカヨ。40% The fans wanted it. The fans have got it. If Kawajiri beats Masato, Masato's career is over. The hands of Masato, the first real power silver. Kawajiri said he wanted to stand toe to toe and brawl with Masato. Masato laughed at him. He said, Are you serious? You seriously want to trade punches with me? Kawajiri, who knocked out the skeletal remains of Kozo Takeda at Dynamite on New Year's Eve with a jumping knee. But Masato is no Takeda. Masato is on another planet entirely of his own. Kawajiri's not looking as good as he did in Dynamite in this kill on match. Uh, maybe that's just part of his strategy. Tags him on the chalk. Kalajiri doing a quick count of his teeth. Fires out a looping left hand. That's Kalajiri. The crusher on the front foot momentarily. Upper count left hand. Masato caught it. It's all a boxing contest so far. And now Masato throws a leg kick. I was going to say, not enough leg kicks for Masato. I was expecting a lot higher leg kick output. It looks like he's starting to get sucked into Kalajiri's challenge to stand there and bang with him. Uh, which, you know, may, may not be a good idea, not taking anything away from Masato, but he can take out Kalajiri's legs over the next round and a half or two rounds or so, and then finish the fight in the third round at his will. I have never heard noise like this here at the Budokan. Masato going for the lead quadricep area. One minute, ten remaining here in the first round. He goes to the back leg of Kalajiri. Kawajiri long lunging punches. There's the flying knee. But Masato too quick to evade it. Under a minute remaining now. Masato enters forward, throws a knee of his own, looking for the sternum. Jab from Kawajiri. Outside thigh kick from Masato. Kawajiri looks oh, right hand thing. counter! Right hand counter from Masato! He is faster than a speeding ticket. Inside thigh kick from Kawajiri. Masato tags him with the left hook. That's what I was getting to say. You know, maybe Kalajiri is just frustrated because he can't hit Masato. Oh, the big kibosh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! Masato dropped it! Kalajiri back to his feet. Can Masato finish it? Kalajiri went for a double leg takedown! He went for a double leg! Which usually tells me he's out. I got a Yamamoto fight. Here comes Masato! This place has gone bananas! This is awesome! Kalajiri is out because, the, like I told you, the MMA fighters train. When they're out, they start to clinch and they try to go to take the guy to the ground. It's instinctive. And Yamamoto was doing that in his fight because they're out. Folks, wherever you're watching this one around the world, in particular, all of our fans joining us in the US on HDNet, you've got to be loving it. I know one person who isn't loving it, a big cheerio to all the crew from Tap Out Radio, Steffi Crooklyn, who I made a very public bet with on air. I said Masato would beat Kawajiri. We've got money riding on this one. And at the end of the first round, all three judges I mean, giving it 10-8 to Masato. You want to talk about saved by the bell. <laughs> that, that fight had another 25 seconds and it would have been over in the first round. We are ready to go. Second round of action. It was punishing by Masato in the first. Lucky. And Kawajiri. 
Just off the bow. Masato jab, right hand up again. Left hook from Kalajiri. Masato first to back track for the first real time in this fight. He tasted the power of Kalajiri. Four punch combination outside Kaiken. Masato dropping his right hand dangerously low. He's allowing Kalajiri to catch him here at the start of the second round. FEG needed only to have sold the edge of the seats here at the Budokan because everyone is on the edge of their seats. Right hand smack back in the schnoggin and a foot kick face. Nicely done from Masato. Oh, he is just hammering him now. I was going to say, Coward here is not great to Masato. Masato is pretty much out of his way with him in any way you want. I'm just surprised about this kick, the, the leg kick output from Masato. It's usually pretty high. Masato looks to me to be proving a point. Kawajiri challenging to stand and train. And Masato is answering the challenge. Yes, I'm, I'm just going to say, you know, I was expecting him to go, yeah, yeah, whatever, and fight a technical fight. He's not! He's not! He's not! Here comes Masato! Kawajiri in a hole on a bar, but he rallies back and pulls on Masato. We have Drago in the background going nuts. Can you see him? Yep. Yep. Oh, the town be thrown in! The town be thrown in! The town be thrown in! Masato wins! Can one beat MMA today? Can a jury lay down on the canvas? The town be thrown in! Listen to the craziness! This place is going crazy. I have never seen 15,000 fans in America standing on their feet. I mean, I'm sorry, in Japan, standing on their feet going at Absolutely this, nuts! This is insane! Oh my! I have truly seen it all! I think Drago was going nuts because of all the MMA fighters came out with Kawajiri. So the K1 fighters kind of got together and started cheering for Masato. <laughs> There's Kishenko and... Uh, and and Drago. I think Drago. Yeah, yeah, and Drago. Drago. Yeah, Drago. Yeah. And then the K1 guys are like, hey, it's time to get on Masato's side here. For those of you who have been watching our K1 broadcast and you've seen the usually reserved, the usually quiet Japanese fans, tonight was the complete 180, the complete opposite. Because they went ballistic. And I have never, ever heard such a deafening ovation. Not even when we used to do shows of 80,000 at the Tokyo Dome, Mike Kogan, did I hear a massive ovation the like that. Nuts. We Everybody, just heard from the Masato. The entire place is on their feet. It's crazy. Great sportsmanship in Centurion. I think Kawaji is telling Masato, you know what? You are the man. I'm the man, and you just knocked me. I'm not going to finish it. And I just won $20 off Tap Out Radio. Thank you very much, Steffi Crooklyn. Ah, they're rich, they can afford it. <laughs> Masato just milking the goodwill that has been showered upon him here. He once again proves that he is the king. I glance over to the giant banners being hung off the balustrades here. Life is only one. The champ is only you. They're talking about Masato. He is not a star or a superstar or a megastar here in Japan. He is a demigod. Uh, I am champion now. <laughs> and yes, Masato, you are the champion. I am 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 the champion. 受けてほしいなと思ってます。もう1試合、ラストの1試合、完全練習します。頑張ります。ありがとうございます。He says to the crowd, I've only got one more fight left in my career. That's going to be a dynamite on New Year's Eve. And it will be against the K1 Max champion of 2009. So we know it will be against either Giorgio Petrosian, Andy Sauer, Yuya Yamamoto, or Buokao Por Prama. One of those four men will face Masato at Dynamite on New Year's Eve.
So just fantastic scenes here at the Buddha Gown. The final eight has now become the final four. Who will do?